to another Roblox video. Today we are going on an expedition to the South Pole. Um, this video will be filled with tips uh, on how to get to the South Pole successfully without dying. There have been many like YouTube videos recently about them failing trying to get to South Pole. In reality, this is very easy compared to other expedition games like Mount Everest, Mount Kenya, Mount Annapurna. And finally, the hardest game that I have not be dreamed of beating, um, Olympus Mons. But we're gonna start off simple in this game. Um, okay, so let's begin with the tips. When you begin, you spawn right next to this expedition center tent thing. So you wanna come in here, grab your backpack, your shirt, and a helmet. Helmet will give you light for darkness, which is the most important, and also get your boots. Most of them are for looks except for the helmet. Grab a flare, but they aren't really important um, unless you're traveling in an expedition group with a certain rescues. So you can shoot a flare so that they will know where to rescue it. Or there are many search and rescues around in the server. But usually, if you're going on a solo expedition, it's not useful. Um, grab an energy bar, this will be useful. Uh, and hold your water bottle, touch this thing. Uh, drink some water, make sure you start off with filled water and filled water bottle just in case you're really slow Usually you don't need to fill your water bottle to the brim and fill yourself to the brim It's just that sometimes maybe if you are not good at obbies and take it slow, then you definitely need this water um, You can also join one of the expedition tents, expedition groups in Roblox uh, To get one of their special suits and you can participate in their official expeditions Which I have done many times Anyway, I have gone to the South Pole four times before, and I have the rank of capable. And hopefully, after this video, I am now s I will be skilled rank because that's five. Anyways, after you got your equipment and water and uh, energy bar, it's time to start going to the South Pole. So you don't need to wear any of these except for the light and flash, maybe when it's nighttime. But everything else, it's not needed. And then nothing is needed in daytime unless there's a snowstorm. Uh. Speak of the devil! When I say snowstorm, there's a snowstorm. Now very rarely, or I don't know how rare it is, you get these snowstorms, which is what is happening right now. As you can see, everything is blurred, and you can only see like a few meters ahead. There will be also this weird sound effect, which I don't like. I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I think I'm gonna mute that for a second, because it's really loud for me. I don't know about the video. But also... Actually, no. It's better to have it, okay. So, I'm sorry if this is a bit loud. But yeah, that's the sound effects. It's like a windy thing. And it only happens in the snowstorm, basically. So now, uh, jump across these ladders. And here's a pro tip. Do not try to skip with the water. First of all, there's invisible walls, so you can't even skip. And secondly, the water damages you really fast. Especially after the new update. They damage you surprisingly fast, actually. They don't kill you. It's not insta-kill. So you can touch the water for a few seconds, but you'll get severely injured. And one thing about this game is that there are no heals in your checkpoints. Even though there are checkpoints, you can't heal without sacrificing a life. The only heals you get is from a rare penguin called a backpack penguin. And even if you find that rare penguin, it's only like a 5% chance you'll get a heal bottle. So anyway, you venture across these ladders, take it slow, don't worry. There's no need to rush. Um, there's it's a very slow timer, your water there is. Uh, you jump over these ladders and you can check out the map um, to see where you're going. So as you can see, we're, we went from base camp and we went across those like jumpy things. And now we're on the tr transatlantic mountains. So right now, you can use this radio if you hold it and talk. Like, like right now, it can be seen in Expedition Tom. But if you don't hold the radio and talk, only people can see your speech bubble, but it's not logged here. So you can um, communicate with search and rescue people by using the radio, but you should not use it always when you're having casual talk with your Expedition members. Alright, now this is the first part where people die in, usually. You can still die before this, but it's really hard. Anyway, we, we go across this bridge and watch out for falling rocks. And you just jump, just slowly but surely just go on one of the edges and jump. Now this, you want to be careful in. 
you want to walk very slowly and pray that there is no lag spike. Because if there's no lag spike, you can jump off. But like, okay, you want to go down pretty low, but not that low, and then just jump, and boom, you can ha ha uh, climb onto the ladder really easily. Now, in this snowstorm, it's pretty hard to show you, but you just keep walking. You just keep walking up, and then you just got to see where you're walking. Like, the first move. So, you make sure you don't run into a hole or anything, because those are everywhere. I'm not used to jumping because um, in these expedition games like Mount Everest, you can't jump. Um, but in, Mount, uh, in Antarctica, you can jump. So, yeah. A third pro tip is if you hold jump while it's like not flat, which is basically the, entire of the entirety of the game, and it seems the snowstorm has subsided, which is good. But um, in the entirety of the game, because it's not flat, if you hold jump, you go a bit faster. But do be careful if you're holding jump and going down, because you might take damage. Now here's a skip number one. You can, uh, instead of going up there, you can go here and climb up this wall, which is um, slightly faster, but not too fast. Now you want to climb on this side of the ladder with shift lock, not the other side, because the other side is blocked with the ladder area here. So right now, you're on your way to summit the first mountain before Antarctica. And this is your first rope. Ropes are nothing special, just go into first person. And make sure your cursor, which is in the middle, uh, make sure it stays inside the rope. That's how you know. So right here, we can see our advanced path sign. Which is a sign that shows that we can go to the advanced path. Which is pretty simple, but you need five uh, expeditions to get there, which is why I'm farming for expeditions. And hopefully, I can show you an advanced path tutorial soon after this video. Um, Alright, so you keep, you just go slowly or quickly like me, because most of us go quickly if you're any good at armies, but make sure you don't rush when you feel like it's dangerous, because you might, and you probably will die if it's your first time. Um, these parts I didn't die in my first time, but like it's still very dangerous. So right here you want to go left and hit here and jump. You cannot jump, like go on a zigzag, but that's slower. Okay, you can just jump through this hole, jump over this hole. Go on the right side of this plank and jump over it. And then go to this final plank, it's left side, and then jump. That's how you, um, be safe. Anyway, we're gonna keep following. Okay, pro tip number four, follow these red lights. They, uh, sometimes you might not want to follow them if you're using a shortcut, but most of the time, if it's your first expedition, you should totally follow these red lights because they are the things that guide you. And also, I'm gonna hold jump because it's much faster and I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all would prefer a faster um, video than a slower video. Now, okay, so here's the thing you wanna go before, you wanna know before you go to Antarctica. If you're fast, you can go in about 30 or 40 minutes without waiting. But usually, if it's your first time, you want to settle one hour for it. You want to make sure you have one hour of free time to do it. If not, you might run out. Then again, in the latest update, you can save your progress in camps and leave and join back. So that is a possibility. So you don't need to do this in one run. But it's much... I, I, I prefer doing it in one run because it feels better. Anyway, uh, we just submitted Mount Kirkpatrick, which is right behind there. And we're going through the plains, not the plains, the mountain, and we're going, we're descending the mountain, basically. So soon, as you can see, we have passed Mount Kirkpatrick, and we're going to the Ross Ice Shelf. And then the Explorer's Cove, which is a diving pod. It's pretty neat. Anyway, we're going to keep going down. Also, um, this game has many updates. Well... They have uh, many ideas for updates, and the developers in their Discord server say, Yeah, we're gonna add more updates. So they're adding a lot of updates, which is good. But also, um, because of this, this tutorial might not be valid in a, few, in a few weeks or months, because the whole map might change. Because before this, when I started playing this, this entire mountain, Mount Kirkpatrick, did not exist. It was just a big Ross Ice Shelf, which is plain. And I'm glad they added this mountain, because the Ross Ice Shelf at the beginning was very long and had nothing to do there. But right now, it still has nothing to do there, but like, it's it's not as long. It's not even close. Anyways, we're almost at the foot of this mountain. And over here, you can see penguins. And it might be a good idea to keep out for keep a lookout for backpack penguins. It's exactly what they look sound like. It's a penguin holding uh, with a red backpack. 
if you click one of those backpacks, you have a 95% chance of getting an energy bar, which gain, uh, boosts your energy up, uh, it says up to 50%, which implies it is it might not be 50%, but I'm pretty sure it's a 100% chance that it will always refill 50%. But anyway, there's a 95% chance you'll get an energy bar from a backpack penguin, and a 5% if you're lucky to get a health potion. I don't know how much health the health potion heals, because I have not um, found one. I've encountered 5 uh, backpack penguins, but they are pretty rare. So anyway, through these um, Ross Ice Shelf, uh, you can see these radio towers, they give a weird sound effect if you go near them. But the main thing is, you just gotta keep following these red lights, and soon you'll be at the Explorer's Cove. <coughs> Ooh, alright, so you can see, it says Explorer's Cove, and this is an under -dive underwater diving park. So, if you're a beginner, I highly advise you do not follow what I do and just follow the line. So just follow this red line. But if you can follow instructions, there's no need to follow the line. There's actually a small cut. I'll show you the cut. So uh, right now, you just keep following the line. And normally, okay, now I can go here. And if you use this cut, I'm pretty sure you can leave with three bubbles left. I don't know how much you get. If you don't leave it with, uh, if you don't use the cut, but okay, normally you follow this line, right? But actually, this line takes an unnecessary turn. You just go here a bit, and then make sure your line is still in your sight if you have max graphic. Then, as you can see, the line is just slightly visible. You don't want to go down too much, but as you can see, we're already above the line without turning much. The line likes to turn, and also the line goes back up. So right now, we basically just went a straight line for something that went down and b made a big turn and went back up. So this, uh, this saves a bit of time, but I like to use it because nobody likes to follow the line. Unless you're a beginner, then, well, it's totally acceptable if you don't want to die. Alright, then we just keep, follow uh, keep swimming through this cove, this cove, yes. And soon, we'll be at our first checkpoint. As you can see, I have three bubbles left. I am a expert psychic. Make sure you keep uh, your your water uh, bar refilled. Every time you drink your water bottle, it consumes 10% no matter what, even if you have full. But it replenishes 10%, so you can only drink, you should drink it at 90% to have max. And also keep an energy, uh, keep, an, keep an eye on your energy bar. So that when it reaches 50%, you just click this and eat it. But now, we are in Camp 1. So right here, if you have no more time, it's perfectly fine to just um, touch this ring, hear the little jingle, and then just leave the game. If you come back, you you can spawn here. Alright, so yeah. Grab your energy bar, eat, uh, okay, eat your energy bar, make sure it's at 100, then grab another one, so that you can have more time if you're slow at obbies. Drink all your water and then refill it, and we're heading off. From camp 1 to camp 2. So arguably, I think, in my opinion, um, this is the hardest part of Expedition Antarctica, but it's still pretty damn easy. Alright, I have my lights open because it was nighttime, and usually you'd want to follow the red lights, but in this case, that's a slow area. That's for slow people. If you go around that hill, it takes oh, quite a while actually. So you can just hold jump and keep climbing up this place of the mountain. And this is the biggest mountain of Antarctica in this game as of, well, when this video was uploaded, basically. So it's Mount Vincent, and um, descending it is much harder than as ascending it, like climbing it. That is what I will say. But anyway, if you climb over this, as you can see, we're basically at the red lights instead of going at a big turn. And also this guy got injured. He has 14 expeditions! He should know about this shortcut! And he shouldn't be so injured! Yeah, I have 4 expeditions and I know about this. 4! He has 14! <laughs> That's quite a lot. That's quite a big difference. Anyway, you just keep holding jump. Unless when you're going down. When you're going down, don't hold jump because you might take some damage. 
and uh, I always love no damage runs. All right, just hug the wall. And I like first person, so just jump on these ladders successfully without problem, hopefully. And yeah, we're gonna keep going past this mountain part, and this is like an obby part right here. So basically, you just jump. This part, you shouldn't be afraid of falling, but if you climb too high, you should be quite afraid. But right now, you won't get damage if you fall, but still, it's not good to fall. I suggest shift lock on everything. And right here, you have to do an upwards neo. You could do this, but it always fails for me. I don't know why. Just do an upwards neo like that. And yeah, just climb up, hold jump, and you can climb this wall pretty easily. Now we're going up here. Remember, if you're stuck, you can always put a flare and ask for a search and rescue or reset character if you have many lives left. However, I highly suggest against um, uh, resetting character. You should just try to like find a way out of where you're stuck at. Usually, you can't get stuck in this game. Unless you're super injured, then yeah, maybe call for search and rescue or reset character. Alright, you keep following the red lights like a normal person. And you can, you can jump down, but it's quite risky because if you jump down a bit too far, you might take 60% of your health gone like that. Don't know why, but like if you fall just a bit over the maximum you can take without damage, you take infinite damage. I'm pretty sure that's part of the advanced route, the, um, the massive snowballs falling down. Yeah, that's probably the advanced route. We're gonna show you how to go through that if I can actually unlock it, that is. But we're going through this, and be careful in this part, because this has killed my friends, me, and many other expedition members many times before. But just jump, and it should be fine. Do not activate ship lock on ladders. That is a pro tip. Never activate ship lock on ladders, unless unless the ladders you're talking about is Mount Olymp um, Olympus Mons in Mars. But like, every other case, just... Don't. Don't activate ship lock. Alright, keep holding jump and you can climb this much faster. Like, significantly faster. And right here, you have almost reached the summit of ba Mount Vincent. So, Camp 1 to Camp 2 is just Mount Vincent. There is no nothing else. There's no, like, Ross Ice Shelf or anything of that sort. But this is a pretty damn big mountain. And I'm pretty sure at the top there, you'll get a badge if you haven't ar already gotten it. And, well right now you can't see anything, but, well yeah, you can't see anything, but I guess you could just chill here. Mount Vincent. And now you are approaching the North Ridge Pass. Which is basically going down of Mount Vincent. Alright, we're gonna keep going, keep going. Alright, right now I suggest, I highly suggest you stop holding jump on like me. I just, I just know when to jump and when to not, but like, I highly suggest just not jumping. Because it might take a bit of your damage. I, sh I, I, st I still won't listen to myself though. I've done this many times before. Alright, now this is a tricky obstacle. This has killed me many times before. In the beginning when I didn't know what ha what was this. But it's an icy ladder. And at first I thought, it's an icy ladder. If I just go straight, I won't slip off. But no, their meaning of icy is that it's not slippery. Oh, remember to drink your water. But it's that it's a conveyor. So the trick to conveyors in Roblox is just to hold jump. So we just gotta hold jump and adjust our balance midair. Like this. As you can see, the, con uh, the conveyor pushed me left and pushed me right. Which is pretty scary if you ask me. If you like just walk, you have to balance yourself perfectly and you don't have any reaction time. Like that sucks, man. I'm glad I learned to jump instead of just slipping over and over and over and over. Anyway, now we have some more ladders. Um, usually, okay, some people die in that part, and it's a pretty big jump. Usually, when I jump it, I can climb on the ladder, which means it's a very close jump. But you just gotta jump. Okay, the biggest part about that jump is that you gotta jump. Some people jump so late, like let's see that guy. Okay, he did it. Alright. Also, unlike what that guy did, you don't want to hold space. Because if you climb on the ladder on its edge and hold space, you jump straight off. So I highly suggest just tap space and just reach there. 
anyway, um, also, the biggest death about those is that if you don't jump, like they try to jump too late, that they just don't jump at all. Also, right here, do not jump. If you jump, I'm pretty sure you lose like all of your HP right here. It's pretty quick to lose HP in every in everywhere in this. Right here, just hold jump and you can climb up. So right now we're nearing the steep descent of the Mount Vincent. And I don't know if we can see Camp 3 from here, but we might be able to soon. Camp 2, I mean, Camp 2, Camp 2. There is no Camp 3. I mean, there is a Camp 3, but like, it's not this near. Alright, we're just gonna keep going down the sand then. And... There are some bridges. And some weird- this is a weird wonky thing. Just walk on these bridges, there's no need to jump, there's no need to rush. Um... But right here, some people try to walk over this ladder. I just try to jump it because it's way safer in my opinion. Because it's... Yeah, you see that guy walking? He's really slow and being really careful. Because it's much scarier to walk on it than just jump for it. Just imagine if that ladder wasn't there. Alright, right here, you just don't want to fall in these holes because these holes are tricky. And sometimes they trick my friends. And then they fall in there and they get stuck and they do some damage and it's painful. And I have to see them rot. And as they run out of food, as I leave without them to camp to... Never mind, none of those happen, but whatever. Um, now, this is probably the hardest part. Still very easy, in my opinion. Uh, you just gotta... You just gotta go slow. That's my biggest tip. There's a bunch of expedition members who like to skip jumps, but like, I'm really afraid of skipping jumps. As you can see, I almost just fell to my death there. Just do the rope trick of putting your cursor in the middle of the rope, and that should be fine. Some people like to skip from here to there, but like, I don't like that. Usually it deals so much damage for me, I don't know why. Maybe they have like, some game pass, or maybe they're just lucky. But like, I don't dare do that. Now, for some reason, whenever I go down this part, there's about a 60% chance I get damaged. And usually when I get damaged, I get damaged to like 30% health left. And I don't know why. It's just one small fall. Like, very small fall. Barely, um, barely, barely bigger than your limits of no damage falls. But like, you still take so much damage, even though it's just a small fall. Anyway just gotta keep going slow don't skip any jumps you never know if you accidentally die you never know go down go down slowly now on here you just want to go back up here and hug the wall and ding 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 you have now made it to camp two. Oh yeah heck yeah Alright, so, um, yeah, we made it to camp 2, I don't know what to say. Well, GG, you have made it past the hardest part of the game, in my opinion. You could find camp 2 to camp 3 harder, you could find camp 3 to final harder, I just think this is the hardest. Yeah, that's what happens when you go near the radio. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it at all. Uh, right here boom checkpoint this means you can die right here and get respawned here and you can leave the game right now if you have uh, taken too much time refill your water here eat your energy bars and refill them and get ready we're going from camp 2 to camp 3 get your bottles filled up get your flares get your energy bars get your helmets and your gear and we're going let's go first of all these ice blocks all right we're also in a snow thing but these ice blocks act as conveyors so the best way is to just find where they go and go with their direction if they if the direction you're going is like the same wait did i turn did i turn around at some point i i genuinely don't remember well whatever let's just keep going yep this is it and after we climb this area we climb over and find the wooden, I mean, not the wooden, the red, the very red, um, sticks. Well, alright. I can't actually see anything in this snowstorm, which is bad. Oh, okay, never mind, it just ended. Whoa, it seems like my YouTuber luck is insane today. 
or just speaking of the devil i just i just talked about um how what what's the snowstorm about and it just happened in part one and right now when i talked about how i can't see anything it just stopped what kind of luck is that anyways you do not want to go on this route this route is awful because this ladder seems like a ladder but it's wobbly and you can't climb it so you want to go on that part even though it seems longer it's the only way to go without getting injured anyway we got an icy ladder here which is do just the normal trick hold jump and just balance yourself uh, midair all right you'll soon find yourself into more conveyor ices or something like that whatever you describe them and as you can see we are in the canada okay we're going to the canada glacier basically so just do the same trick if you want to go fast you might want to hold jump but sometimes the conveyors will be in your favor so you might want to ride the conveyors like that one remember these ice are conveyors and not slipperiness so uh, be mindful of that usually normally slippery things is it's not the same as this if you're traveling with a friend i highly suggest waiting for each other or going different routes because your ice breaks right behind you or you guys should go like um at the same time but that's a bit riskier because a lag spike or if your friend's a bit slower than you might kill you both it won't kill you but it will damage you severely remember i don't think a lot of most of these things yeah i don't think there's a single kill pad in this game but anyway if you're going with multiple people it's best to split out onto these two caves um they both lead to the same direction so don't worry about getting split split up and now you should be in the same in the in the cave basically whatever as you can see the other pole the entrance also leads here all right make sure you sip your water and jump over this weird ledge thing just jump over it it's casual um yeah okay jump over one more and right here you want to go right because left you will take damage now it's, it might seem appealing to just swim and go to that other side but no remember water does damage to you so you can just climb uh, jump over that rock climb over these ladders admire the music not really music background sound effects all right now you get two holes choose choose whatever it's not really a big deal except for the next set of holes the next set of holes the left one is the dangerous one but fast it's not it's not dangerous as in you need skill it's dangerous as in it will 100 percent take some of your hp and if you have low hp you should not take it <coughs> i think you should just take the right route and just um go around these walls if you go the left route you can swim across this and jump up really quickly so if you're doing the race yeah definitely worth it but like you're not doing the race hopefully because these are dangerous but you could be doing a race and but remember even if you're doing a race you will die if you like go that with low hp so right now we have an icy ladder remember just hold jump dangerous ravine down there and right here this is where many people die you see you climb over there climb up and then you fall on a ladder so to be safe just go down here just walk down casually remember this 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 might be patched in the new update but like right now if you can still use it then use it okay you can take no damage by doing this climbing up go over here climbing up and perfectly safe and i think it might be a bit faster as well so that's that's a shortcut but it's also helping you quite a bit and now that i see this from above it seems like doesn't it seem like there's like more things to explore i don't know man i can't see anything but you just gotta keep walking and the reason why i'm gonna s combine the two videos into one from camp 2 to camp 3 and camp 3 to final is bad because we are already at camp 3 this is sure i'm telling you this is sure all right we're just gonna i'm just gonna skip to camp 3 because you can see there's a broken plane down there and that's where the camp is all right as you can see we're already at camp 3 very safe very sound you can see max life max health um if you do it if you do everything correctly that is um eat your energy bars you might want to scout for if you're really injured and there's no snr you might want to scout for a backpack penguin but that's really rare and even if you find one it's really rare to get a health bottle so i highly recommend against it 
um, go past this broken plane, drink some water, fill it to the max, and we're going past the, the labyrinth. That is, uh, Mr. Mr. Cap 3 t final to Mr. Beardmore Glacier. Yeah. He has a beard? He has more beards than me? This is preposterous! I must sue them immediately! Now, okay, you just climb over this ladder and climb over the other ladder. And right now you want to go right. Jump over this. Just keep going. Go down here. Um, at night time, this looks really cool. Like, it's everything's dark and it's glowing in the bottom. But, it's not a necessary... Necess something. It's not necessary! Alright, right here, you can jump right here. Or you can jump over there. Not that I care. Um, where do I jump, actually? I don't know what's the safest way to jump, but just jump. If you do it correctly, you won't fall. And even if you fall, not all hope is lost. You can go, uh, go past the caves and find... Eventually, you'll find a way to get out. Just hug the walls and jump around a bit. Trust me. Alright, now jump over here at this pointy bit. Go on this ladder. Go on this other ladder. Go on this third ladder. And then jump over here. Now, once you're over here, you want to jump to... I'm pretty sure... Uh, hmm. I'm pretty sure you just walk here. Yeah. Just walk here. Fall down a bit. Oh no, we took damage! Rest in peace to no damage run. They were this close to the South Pole anyway. Well, whatever. It's not It's not that it bothers me a lot. Right, now you gotta jump here. Never mind. Everyone, please do not do what I just did. I just slipped up and messed up and fell all the way down. But anyway, not all hope is lost. You can climb up here, climb on the ladders. I haven't climbed on these ladders in a while since I don't really use these. Because I never fall. This is bad. But it's 28% uh, health is nothing risky. Once you make it here, there's no chance of dying if you are not- uh, if you aren't stupid, that is. So just walk down here. And as you can see... Some music's playing. This is some nice music. Congratulations! If you've made it this far... Then, you'll see the South Pole. This is how long. And if you made it this far, congratulations! You're decent at armies. So, just keep walking. Embrace the music, which is actually pretty damn cool, if you ask me. Um, and you can see all the flags that are here in the South Pole in real life. Hooray! This is it! You have beaten Expedition Antarctica! Good job! If you have done this, um, next two videos will probably be about the best if you guys want this. Oh, look at that! My expedition count is now five. Heck yes, man! You can watch the sunset now, right here. You should take a photo and post it to the official Discord because that's what you always do. So right now, I'm actually waiting for this to stop this sun to set because fun fact if in the middle of the sun setting you take a picture it can seem really epic like when, when it suddenly changes from 5 30 p.m to something so anyway if you enjoyed this guide about how to get to expedition how to expedition to antarctica successfully then do hit that like button below uh subscribe to get more content like this hopefully i'll be doing mount kenya and mount annapurna and mount everest if i'm feeling it 
I haven't scaled Mount Everest once, so please do not count on Mount Everest. But like, also Olympus Mons, I'm gonna try attempt that again. I highly suggest just staying here, chilling, dancing, and admiring the music because the music is absolutely awesome. And See you in the next video! Bye bye!